One of the first steps to be able to have an effective dialogue is to get to know ourselves, is to know ourselves. And the reason why is because we start dialogue with the premise that others are our mirrors. And when we understand this concept, we stop from reacting, we stop from blaming others, we stop from criticizing, judging, and condemning others. And that dialogue happens when that premise is very, very clear. Now, why is it that getting to know that knowing ourselves makes a big difference? Well, when we know our strengths, our weaknesses, our um, values, our fears, our motivations, our purpose, when we know a lot about ourselves, then when someone comes in and reflects to us something that we don't like, it's very easy for us to stop and say and think and evaluate why we are feeling the way we are feeling before we respond and before we attack or defend or do something that is really a projection of, of our inner self as opposed to a dialogue, a conversation, an awareness, as opposed to coming from awareness, from knowing who we are and understanding that what the other person is doing to us is really reflecting something about ourselves. Know thyself. Socrates was a very wise man to tell us that this was step number one for us to have an effective communication, effective dialogue, and effective relationships.